My beloved mother shows no sign of noticing my father's infidelity. It took the son, who realized his father's cheating, a month to gather evidence and decided to present it as a school project. Despite both working, all household chores are dumped on mother, he doesn't do anything himself he had always complains about the housework, about wrinkles in the laundry or dust in the corners of the room. Despite not being able to cook much, he has unnecessary comments like I'm not in the mood for this today. Yet, my mother manages to do all the household chores amidst her busy schedule, and her cooking is very delicious. The day I found out about my father's affair, I was so frustrated I couldn't stand it. He makes excuses about work being busy and doesn't take us out to play. Moreover, while my mother earns quite a bit at a major company, my father is a salesman at a small company with a modest salary. Despite my mother having a far superior character, at home, he's all puffed up just because he's a man. He just wants to feel superior by constantly criticizing what my mother does. I've had enough of such a father and decided to take revenge. Let me explain how I came to notice the affair. That day, I was a bit late coming home from a school committee meeting. I took a different route for a shortcut, and that's when I saw my father walking arm in arm with a young woman. I thought, maybe she's a colleague? but then realized, no, they're too cozy, even a 6th grader like me could tell they were clearly flirty. Speaking of me, I'm an 11 year old 6th grader, elected as the class committee president. Looking back, there were various signs that my father was suspicious. He often came home late, claiming overtime or weekend work, and suddenly became picky about suits, ties, and frequently buying new casual clothes. I remember my mother chuckling, wonder who you're dressing up for? and I realized it was because of the affair. As for the revenge, I witnessed this affair right before the summer vacation started. At that time, I was struggling with what to do for my research project. The teacher said, research something you're curious about, so I decided to investigate my father's true nature. First, I started a diary observing my father's behavior, recording his waking time, returning time, and bedtime. Also, his mood for the day, and I even noted the weather. While he was in the bath, I take receipts from his wallet to check the places he frequented. Cafes and family restaurants were common, but he also went to hotels several times. Oh, hotels. At first, I wondered why he'd stay during the daytime. What's a break? But I soon understood. I had a friend who knew about these things. After a few days of looking at receipts, I realized he wasn't just going after work or on weekends but also frequently during working hours. So. I decided to follow my father on a weekday. I took the same train as him to work. I followed him at a distance so he wouldn't notice me. Since I take the train alone to cram school, I was used to transfers and such. Since my family's routine over the summer break was for my mother to work, I managed to do this without the adults catching on. Sure enough, during his supposed work hours, he spent more time cozying up in cafes with that young woman I had seen than on his sales rounds. I was able to witness them entering hotels together several times, and I made sure to take photos. The quality wasn't great since it was an old digital camera we had at home. Of course, I noted the time and place on the photos and returned the receipts to his wallet. I don't have a voice recorder or anything like that. I can't afford such expensive stuff with my allowance. I definitely checked the text messages, too. While my father was in the bath, I took his phone and checked the messages. There were lots of exchanges with a woman so I took photos of the screen, they were saying things like I love you and I want to see you, which was a bit of a shock when I saw it. I also checked the predictive text and found some pretty cringy stuff like I love you and love you so much. I only did it because I like detective and crime manga and anime. It was a bit of a shock, but I might have been excited as I gathered more and more evidence. I even managed to identify who the woman was in the affair, I'll tell you more about what happened. During the summer break, I kept watch on my father's actions and was able to gather substantial evidence of his cheating. For the presentation materials of my research project, I even stayed up all night to make them. I think it was the first time I had ever worked so hard on a school assignment. I arranged the evidence photos chronologically on a large sheet of poster paper and made a chart showing his daily activities, clearly indicating the times he slacked off work to cheat. I transcribed the message exchanges with his mistress to make them easy to read. I used colored pins to differentiate the dialogue between my father and his mistress, making it easier to follow. Not to brag, but I think I managed to create something quite impressive, if not excellent. I even cancelled plans to play games with friends and go bug hunting to work on this project. 
I didn't want to compromise right up until the end. One of my goals for this summer research project was to surprise the adults and win a prize at a contest. With that ambition, I took my research to school at the start of the new term. It turned out to be quite the masterpiece, something truly compelling. In our class, the protocol was to present our research materials internally before submitting them. On the day of the presentations, I went to school with my materials, more nervous than I had been for any other event before, even more than on Valentine's Day. My classmates' research topics were varied, one had made a capsule toy out of cardboard and demonstrated it, others presented their findings on electricity and environmental issues regarding plants. But of course, no one else had researched something about their family like I had. And finally, it was my turn to present. I will now begin my presentation. The theme of my project is the ecology of my father. My father is a salesman at 20 company, he always says he is very busy with work. He leaves all the household chores to my mother, who also works, and says he has to work even on weekends. I decided to investigate whether his job is really that busy and what he does every day. After finishing the introduction, I posted my magnum opus, the poster paper, on the blackboard. The teacher, who had been sitting in the back watching our presentations, looked a bit puzzled, but I decided to continue without paying any mind. First, I closely observed my father on a workday to see how he spends his time. He wakes up at 7 am, eats breakfast made by my mother, leaves for work at 8 am, arrives at the office at 9 am, and goes out for sales rounds at 9.30 am. At this time, he always takes a certain woman with him. Around 10 am, he enters a cafe far from the company and flirts with the woman. At noon, they move to a family restaurant for lunch. After flirting some more, he finally goes to visit a client's company at around 2 pm. After the visit, he meets up with the same woman again around 3.30 pm and enters a hotel. He stays there for about 2 hours then returns to the company at 5 pm and leaves work at 6 pm. He even flirts with the woman again while having dinner at a restaurant after leaving work. Then he comes home at 9 pm, has my mother prepare some snacks, and drinks a little. He takes a bath at 11 pm and goes to bed at midnight. This is how my father typically spends his day. The poster included photos of my father's cheating scenes, arranged according to the schedule. The girls in the front seat started to make a commotion upon seeing the photos of him entering the hotel. It's an affair, isn't it? That's so bad. The classmates started to buzz, and the teacher, flustered, ran towards me. What is this? Stop your presentation. Not to mention photos of your father and a woman. Anyway, go back to your seat for now. The teacher was visibly shaken and tried to remove my poster from the blackboard. No, I won't stop the presentation. I grabbed the teacher's arm. I have dedicated the past month to this research project. Didn't you say our research theme should be something we're curious about? Isn't it a teacher's job to nurture a child's inquisitiveness and desire to learn, rather than simply denying it outright? Please listen to me until the end before you judge. While saying this, I looked straight into the teacher's eyes, conveying my serious intentions. Hearing my desperate plea, my classmates sided with me and protested to the teacher on my behalf. With all my classmates on my side, the teacher stopped trying to remove the poster and said, Alright, you may finish your presentation. But we will talk in detail in the staff room afterward. Is that okay? Reluctantly, she allowed me to continue. I regained my composure and resumed my presentation. Yes, as you can see, during the weekdays, he spent more time with this woman than working. What about on the weekends? I have compiled that on the next sheet. I pointed to the second poster paper. It had photos summarizing the results of my following him on a weekend when he went out alone. I detailed the timeline of my father and the woman's date leading to a hotel stay. I could see the teacher holding her head in the back. On weekends, my father does not play with me but meets with a woman. The following paper details the message exchanges between this woman and my father. I read aloud the lovey-dovey messages. We had such a great time today. Happy to have spent it with you, sweetie. Yeah, I'm also happy to be with you, darling. You look super cute today. Huh? Just today? Humph. Sorry. Sorry. You are always cute. Don't be mad. Can't help it then. I'll forgive you. But next time, 900 kisses, okay? I'll kiss you as many times as you want. As I read the messages aloud, laughter erupted from all my classmates. They were all laughing so hard some had tears in their eyes. 
Even the teacher's mouth twitched into a smile for a moment before she quickly composed herself back to sternness, as the laughter died down, I moved to conclude my presentation. As a result of investigating my father's behavior, I found that his claim of being busy with work was a lie, because he spends most of his working hours flirting with this woman. In other words, my father is having an affair. It's called infidelity when a married person has a relationship with someone else. My father is betraying my mother. This investigation has shown that my father is the worst kind of person as a parent, a husband, and a member of society. That concludes my presentation. When I finished, there was a round of applause from my classmates. The teacher quickly removed my poster and said angrily, come to the staff room later. But I was able to present the results of my investigation into my father's affair, the culmination of my summer break. After the presentation, I got a real earful in the staff room and the teacher said she would call my mother. I was a bit excited but also anxious about how my mother would react when she learned the content of my research project. When I got home, nervous, my mother was waiting for me at the entrance. Ryan, welcome back. Her face wasn't angry, but it looked sad and complicated. Your school called today. And so did your father's company. I couldn't concentrate on work today, so I came home early. I had actually made copies of my research materials and mailed them to the president of my father's company. I included a letter saying, my father spends most of his working hours cheating. On his days off, he lies about working and goes out with a woman instead of me. Please make my father stop cheating and take strict action against an adult who doesn't do his job. That's why the company had also called my mother. By the way, I forgot to reveal the identity of the affair partner, but it was a young employee from my father's company. It seemed that he got close to her while showing her around for training. Since the mistress was from the same company, I wanted the company to know as well, so I decided to mail the summary of my research when it was completed. If my father and his mistress were both skiving off work to commit adultery, it was their own fault for getting ratted out. I have no idea what was so great about that guy. I understood about the affair, but why did you present it as a research project? And why send it to the company too? She seemed quite shaken. I honestly shared my feelings. I couldn't forgive dad for cheating. I couldn't stand it, absolutely couldn't stand it, that he was betraying you. Mom, I'm sorry for acting on my own. I'm sorry for shocking you, but from now on, I will protect you. I was surprised at myself for crying as I spoke. Seeing me like this, my mother also shed tears and hugged me tightly. I'm sorry I didn't notice anything, Ryan. I understand how you feel. You did all this for me. Thank you, Ryan. Despite everything, finding out about my father's affair was still a shock. Maybe I presented the investigation as a research project to distract myself from those feelings. The company said to discuss it at home first without informing my father right away. That day, my mother didn't say anything to my father. But on Friday of that week, she sat him down in the living room when he came home and handed him divorce papers and demanded alimony. What's this all of a sudden, a divorce notice? My father exclaimed in surprise, but my mother explained about my school project. When he found out that I had presented at school and sent documents to the company, he yelled at me, what have you done? And just as he tried to hit me, my paternal grandfather, who had been waiting in the next room, burst through the sliding door with incredible speed. He grabbed my father by the collar and shook him violently as if to cause a concussion, slapping him across the face while shouting. What the hell have you done? Following my grandfather, my paternal grandmother and my maternal grandparents also appeared. My father, his cheek reddened by the slaps, tearfully looked at the faces of his grandparents one by one. The grandparents were all furious, their faces red as they glared at my father. We've heard everything. You've been having an affair with a subordinate at work, it seems. We've seen Ryan's research. All the evidence is there. My grandfather declared, with that, he spread out the poster of my school project on the table with a thud. Seeing the collected evidence of the affair, my father trembled. There's more evidence than this. Ryan did a thorough investigation, my mother added, spreading out the receipts and photos of the message screens I had saved. With all this evidence, you can't run away from the truth. Plus, how can you not feel sorry for showing such a thing to your own son? Shame on you. Reflect on your actions. Get down on your knees and apologize. My grandfather demanded. After forcing my father to kneel, he said, Go on, apologize. And my father, 
with his forehead rubbing against the ground, began to apologize. Please sign the divorce papers. Looking down at my father, who was now a mess with tears and snot, my mother said coldly, he signed the divorce papers then and there, and was escorted away by the grandparents. Actually, we had gathered the grandparents before my father's return to explain the situation. They had also seen my presentation, I presented it just like I did at school. I was praised for putting together the materials well and for presenting well. Everything was fine at school. Well, the teacher didn't look too pleased, but in the class, my father's creepy quotes became popular and made me a bit of a celebrity. I later heard that my mother was already highly trusted and liked among the other parents, so when my father's affair was conveyed through the children to the classmates' parents, they all sided with my mother. She received a lot of words of support. Even those who had been through a divorce gave her advice to make the divorce more advantageous for her, and the company apologized because the mistress was also an employee, promising to reinforce employee training. It felt a bit late, though, my father and his mistress were severely reprimanded by the company. They weren't fired, but they became the subject of much gossip and eventually resigned of their own accord. So that's how my parents' divorce was finalized. And of course, I went with my mother. I don't know the details, but the evidence I collected was apparently very helpful, and my mother received a generous settlement. The child support is paid regularly every month. That was about 10 years ago. Even though my mother was already earning well, I am very grateful to her for raising me by herself and putting me through college. I still have contact with my paternal grandparents, but I haven't seen my father since that day of the apology. Unfortunately, my project didn't win any prizes, but I worked hard at my studies in college and in job hunting, and I recently received an offer from my first choice major corporation. I plan to continue protecting my mother and slowly repay her for all she has done.